Coast. Yeah, uh, I'm happy to be here, man. I'm, I'm just happy to see uh, Jimmy make the trip over here as well. So lets me know I'm going to be on Showtime just like Fox Sports over here. How does it compare in the Gold Coast to something, say, like out the front of T-Mobile Arena or with Garcia in? Yeah, I mean, it depends on the fight. But for, for, this, for Tim to be at this point in his career and bring all these fans here, whether you know him or not or you know this fight or not, you stopped. You got a good look at what's going to happen tomorrow night. So I'm happy that they did it right here in the middle of the public. And that uh, was a great turnout. What did you take from um, from Tim and and, and, and the uh, the way the, the, the face off um, you know towards the end there? Yeah, I mean Tim is locked and loaded, man. He's ready to go, and uh, it's a great sign for him uh, considering everything uh, that that he's up against. You know, fighting at home and you know the big crowd and and uh, you know all those other things. Being a Gold Coast native myself, I just wanted to ask you how you liking the Gold Coast so far. Uh, it's, uh, this is officially like day one, like an hour or two ago, so. Um, it's cool, man. It, uh, the, it feels lovely out here. And uh, no surprise, man, the Australian people are really, really kind, and I love it. Uh, Tim Zhu is putting it all on the line again. Is that uh, what fighters should do to build a, a great legacy in your in your mind? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously every fighter is out for, for different things. You hear a lot of fighters talking now about legacy. Uh, I think that that is kind of – that's – that's the thing right now. You know, at one point in time, it was all about belts. At another point in time, it was all about money. At one point in time, it was all about who's going to see you and how many fans you got, you know. So I think the wave right now is all about legacy. And uh, Tim is certainly doing uh, beyond this. When you speak beyond a legacy, I, mean, I think he's the best move boxer right now. You know, he's not, a, he's not willing to sit still and wait on opportunities. He's taking them. He's, he's, he's even creating them, you know, and I, and I love that about what he's doing right now. Mexican fighters are renowned for their bravery and they come to fight and go to war every time. Are you expecting uh, a massive war between both Tim and uh, Carlos? They both have similar styles. Yeah, they do. They have similar styles. I can. I, I, I think Tim's going to want to be right there in the middle of the ring and take the fight wherever it's going to go. And uh, I got a feeling that Carlos is, is, is going to want to be in the middle of the ring until he feels the power. I think once he feels the power, he'll start to move a little bit. And, uh, and I think we'll get more of Tim tracking down uh, Carlos than we will of them having it just all out brawl round after round. Do you think it's smarter for Tim to do more rounds, to get more rounds under the belt or get him out and be danger free? No, I, I think at this point you've had every experience you need. And at, at this point every fight, if we, if we had every fight go one minute of the first round, we would do that. You know, Tim, is, it's not about him getting rounds under his belt or anything like that. Another opportunity to stay fit, another opportunity to get in camp and put it all together on fight night. This fight goes one round, I, 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 I'd be proud of him and I think that he's got everything he needs at this point to get in the ring with, uh, with the Big Bag Wolf, uh, Charlo. Are we going to see a side saddle in his Ferrari through the Gold Coast just doing some laps? <laughs> uh, hopefully I'm in the car next to him. <laughs> <laughs> a little Lambo or something. There you go, yep, yep, yep. Love it. Sorry. Thanks, Sean. Yes, sir, you got it. You got it.